That's a tough thing. <laughs> Second down and nine, and uh, this pass caught by Hatchet, and he gets over for the touchdown. Matthew Hatchet with the touchdown, a 13-yard score with 3.47 to go. Cunningham drops. Has time. Touchdown, Matthew Hatchet. The 20 yard line for the Vikings who trail 10 to 7. Jeff George with a long drop in the pass right on the money to Matthew Hatchet, and he's going to score. No flags down. An 80 yard touchdown pass for a score to Matthew Hatchet. A touchdown would come to 7. George over the middle, Hatchet, touchdown. He beat Hasty in 32 for a first down. It's a big play for the Patriots defensively. Rushes on. Culpepper goes deep. And the completion of Matthew Hatchett, who walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Katosa Wonga got caught up in some foot. They come on a blitz. Culpepper to Hatchett, touchdown. There was a case where they went, they gave him a double, a two deep look, then they went to a single high safety, put the safety in the middle. Quarter last year for John Fox at Carolina, now he's his head coach debut. They say they want to trademark Brunel, I just don't understand why. How about that throw to Matthew Hatchet? He burns the hatchet, last play of the half, 33 yards, 14 nothing Jaguars. It over to Dick and Bird, and Patrick McEnroe after this message. And Hatchet, who always is has his head in the game. Look at up top here. He sees this all by itself. You have all kinds of coverage down here. He just runs right through it. What no a laser there. throw. Oh, it was a laser. Wow. George sees it right away. He knows where he's going. Didn't even think twice about it. He had one step on Walker, and then it was the proverbial all she wrote. And the longest uh, reception, as you might expect, by Matt Hatchett. Catches so far in this game. Hasty, their most physical corner. Just tremendous skills, and Hatchett beat him on the post. James Hasty has got Matthew Hatchett locked up in the slot. That's kind of... There's Hatchett. There's Hasty. What happens, you'll see Hat Hasty's going to go outside. Hatchett's going to come on down inside. Good job by the line, giving him time. He just comes inside. Doesn't get a hand on him, bails on him a little bit. Looking for a different route. Matthew Hatchett with a chance to contribute with Chris Carter on the sideline with that ankle sprain. Touchdown pass, Culpepper to Hatchett and the Vikings with their third touchdown of the first half. That's the other receivers that Culpepper is finding. Matthew Hatchett, his first reception of the season. And a touchdown for the Minnesota Vikings. Gary Anderson's extra point is good. The crowd has been quieted by the visiting Vikings who have had the ball three times and scored three touchdowns. Had it for three minutes. <laughs> oh, short time this time. <laughs> Matthew Hatchett stepped in front of Sirwanga and walked into the end zone. Just got to feel like the world's picking on him. It's Moss, it's Carter, this time it's Hatchet. Oh, he gets it out so perfectly. You know, and it's really not fair. Here's a kid who was a converted running back. You talk about a baptism under fire. Gary Anderson, who's gaining on George Blanda as the NFL's all-time leading scorer, knocks that extra point through, and it's 20.